Hi, my name is Matt Rich. I am the Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction in Downers Grove School District 58. And this is a tutorial about iCloud, what is it, and how it can be useful for you. And we're looking at one of our school iPads right now. What we're going to do, iCloud is a service by Apple that allows you to sync data and information between iOS devices, the web, and to your own MacBook if you own that type of computer. You don't have to own any of those specific devices, but it's only useful to you when you own either a MacBook or an iOS device. So the way you set up an iCloud account is you go to Settings, and you go to iCloud, and we have not put iCloud on student devices, but you're allowed to create them along the way. We're going to go first and create our get a free Apple ID, and I have not made one for my work account, so I will do that right now and I need to enter my birthday and I will do that so it will be you know well, my little birthday July 22nd and 1973 all those you watching the video could later on or look and see when my birthday actually is how exciting is that we'll put in my name and my last name and I am in the system and we can use our current email address or we can use a get a free iCloud email address. And I'm going to use my current email address, but the choice is yours. Hit next, and my ID will be my district email at dg58.org. And now I need to create a password. In doing this, I will do a thing. You need to know that it needs to include a number, an uppercase, and a lowercase letter. And being that everyone's going to see this generic password I'm going through, we'll be changing it later. So we will call it Downers Grove 1. And I need to do that again. Hit next. And I have an Apple ID, I need to enter security questions, and I will choose a question. What is the name of your first pet? And we will call that Rama, it's my uncle's dog. And name of uh, model of our, my first car, that will be a van. And what city did my parents meet? Uh, I believe it was Chicago. No, these are actual questions I use for my actual screen things, but they should be private ones for you. And if there's an email address, rescue email, I'm not going to put that in. And it can send me whether I not want email updates from Apple. I do not. And I can hit agree on my terms of service. I have to agree a second time, make sure I go through. And I now have an iCloud account. I need to go in on my other email and make sure that I verify the account. I'm going to do that right now on another device. And hopefully it will come through. It has come through, and I will hit verify now, and I apologize that you cannot see that because I'm using a different device along the way. And I need to sign in when I do that. It will require you to sign in to the Apple website. So give me a couple of seconds to sign in. And I've emailed, verified that along the way. So now I can go into the iCloud settings. I think I will come out of it. Try to do that again. You can see that it is now verifying. And I, the first option I get is allow iCloud for use of, for find my pad. And this is one of the reasons we want parents to use iCloud. Absolutely, we want to use the Find My Pad app in case we misplace it in the house or that we it is somewhere and we want to find out where it is the device as we go through. There will be a separate tutorial that we have about Find My iPad, but we are going to allow this. Now you see my iCloud account 
iCloud allows me, I could set up a mail feature. It allows me to back up and store through iCloud context, calendar, reminders, and Safari. So if my device breaks or I want access and I don't have my device, if I have this information in iCloud, I can go through iCloud.com or go through the web on iCloud.com or pick up another device log in with my iCloud account and get access to my calendar, contacts, reminders, or Safari bookmarks. Also, it will let me choose whether or not to sync notes, whether I want to stream my photos to, from the device, and documents and data. And this is the other very important feature. If I have documents and data on, this will allow me to sync my numbers, pages, or keynote documents so that I don't lose them along the way. Also with storage and backup, if you have iCloud on, it will you can back up if you so choose the device. Every time it's on the Wi-Fi network, it will back it up automatically along the way. So if I can turn on iCloud backup, so if I break or lose my device, that information on my device is stored in the cloud. So iCloud is very useful for a lot of reasons. It allows me to access my contacts, calendar, reminders, and Safari bookmarks from anywhere, whether it's through iCloud.com, or if I lose my device to pick up another device, or if I have multiple devices to be able to do it. It allows me to set up the Find My iPad app, which will allow me to do that, and we'll have a separate tutorial, and allows me to wirelessly back up the information that's on my iPad. While we as a district do not set up iCloud accounts for parents and student devices, we encourage our students and parents to consider whether or not to use iCloud as a possible backup solution for them so they don't lose important information. We hope that this has been helpful for you. Thank you very much and have a marvelous day.